Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new video. Uh, this is seven Minecraft kitchen ideas. Anyway, so I've built uh, seven of these separate uh, themed kitchens, all kind of around uh, themes, whether that's time or uh, what establishment they are, but I'll just go through them all now, point out some of the uh, key building tips that are used. So this first one is quite a simple uh, kitchen for like, and by that like I mean, say this could be done in survival mode, as you can see a lot of it is just, you know, wooden based and uh, stone, cobblestone floor, a nice uh, hard surfaced floor as well, so I think uh, to give contrast with the walls as well and a nice window in a kitchen, I think that's quite a key thing usually. Um, and it's got these two different coloured blocks either size to kind of represent shutters or something like that. Kitchen clock, obviously a good thing, because um, a lot most uh, kitchens, when you think about them, uh, do have a uh, clock. And then we've got the, uh, what are these called, detector rails? They're put on top of the ovens to act as kind of like hobs. And then you can use flower pots and uh, fresh plates as plates and uh, cups, or sometimes I use these as chopping boards, you'll see just later on. We've got a tap here, very basic one, and then just uh, places like this is just... Actually, this has double uh, function. This opens the uh, fridge, and it also looks like a cupboard. A couple of cupboards there. Then we've got some shelves. And this is kind of like the chimney bit of like extractor fans. But yeah, that's the first one. Quite a simple, uh, very wooden based oak and stone kitchen. Okay, so the second one is more of a realistic approach. Say, uh, something inside a creative house. Um, you know, a very uh, brickwork and, uh, you know, quite a basic suburban standard house. And uh, so it's got a nice table here with a tablecloth. It's a uh, I've done half of it cut off like into a dining area. Uh, we've got some shelves here, in fact I'd probably delete that cause it, just so it doesn't overhang, but yeah. Uh, some nice shelves and uh, some nice um, what's this worktop, that's it. A uh, good worktop to go around, They're all themed around this one colour of grey, so I'd actually probably change these to grey, but uh, you don't want them to blend too much of this chimney thing and uh, I wish they had like you could put slabs on the wall but uh, I've managed to have it look like a chimney going straight up like that but something which is key to mention when you're building in rooms not just kitchens try and add as much detail as you can so with shelves chimneys fridge cupboard uh, even the signs going around just so it gives a bit of depth into the room and again we've got just a very simple uh, window, nice little one with the cross going through. The third kitchen is a modern kitchen, and uh, inside here we've got some nice underfloor lighting because it gives us a very modern uh, feel. There's a feature wall, so one of the walls is de more detailed than the others, um, and a match and flower to go with the uh, feature wall as well. And for the taps, look, we've got cold water tap and a hot water tap represented by the uh, stained glass and then we've got some nice little extractor given this modern uh, feel as it's kind of hanging off the roof and again some cupboards here almost looks like you could pull them out but it's just for decoration and we've got some uh, shelves which fold away a modern feature and this big uh, grey kind of border loops around in this very modern pattern and it's because it's such a solid bold colour separates things off it gives that like ultra modern feel and it's got this nice serving catch kind of breakfast bar feel to it moving on to our fourth kitchen uh, this is more of a um, establishment kitchen so I base this on like some kind of diner you can imagine where this black would be there'd be the all the seating area there this is quite a rough like diner so this is the nice part all kept nice floor polished you come in to order your meal behind the scenes the kitchen's all greasy and dirty and there's horrible like mold on the wall and dirt on the floor 
that there's a, this is the fridge like left open, We've got chopping boards everywhere and this is like the frying area, I like these would be the deep fat fryers, um, there you go, I don't know what those, oh it's just kind of like a, it's supposed to be a cupboard on the wall and like on the extractor fans or the uh, chimney parts, it's got like moss growing on it and yeah so it gives a like a cool realistic greasy feel to this dodgy looking uh, calf. Now this next one is a very medieval uh, kind of design, a very old fashioned one because uh, obviously uh, medieval is a very popular thing to build in in Minecraft. So we've got an open fire which they'd cook on, um, got an anvil here where they could like put meat on and talking about the meat, we've got some meat hanging up from the ceiling which is a bit disgusting. <laughs> but it uh, gives a pretty good feel, and especially with this uh, stained clay. I can't remember which one it was now. Where is stained clay? Uh, the white stained clay, it's got the same colour as the um, rabbit and chicken. I think that's rabbit. No, not rabbit. What do you get when you kill a sheep? Oh no, it is rabbit. I didn't know that. I haven't actually done that in survival mode, so that's why I need to brush up on these things. But yeah, like I said, open fire and there's somewhere to kind of cook on this anvil kind of gives a blacksmith feel as well and as you can see the floor a lot of detail with the different colored gray kind of stony things uh, there's just some water here where they could wash things and uh, these don't really fit in too well but uh, I thought just put a cupboard in there because if you did want to use it you'd want somewhere to store things and as you can see on the walls to give it that very old, like rustic feel to it, all these uh, the chopping and changing between the woods randomly gives this like makeshift pattern, and the big beams coming across the roof, uh, the ceiling I should say, and the torches sticking out, and then we've got skulls of the enemies, a big like place where they'd be drinking beer, and uh, oh, it looks like they've got some coffee. But yeah, all like. I said it a minute ago, but everything that you add, which uh, kind of pokes out, is good because it adds depth to the build. And once you've added depth, everything looks a lot uh, nicer rather than it just being flat and horrible, say, like that. Okay, so the sixth build, the second to last, is uh, a very futuristic one. So we went from the old fashioned uh, medieval to this very into the future uh, one set in space, as you can see out the window. They're in the deep uh, parts of space, you can see the stars out there. Um, and I thought that was pretty cool, I just did that with like buttons. And uh, I didn't think like a normal kind of oven, uh, furnace, I, I mean, would fit in. So instead I made these little dispensers, how you could imagine astronauts having all their like free uh, frozen food, which is dispensed. And uh, I've got all the different ones, we've got like cookies, water, um, this is carrots and <laughs> all your meals come with a drink but uh, this is the dining area and obviously I could have added um, different seats but this one kind of stood out so you could see the definition between that so I was going to have it the same but if you see it just uh, doesn't blend in so be careful when you're putting blocks next to each other which are the same make sure uh, people will understand there's a difference uh, in purpose. And here we've just got a plain little uh, chest, but if you like, if you're trying to make borders around things, these half uh, not half subs, these uh, trap doors can uh, do a very good job of it because you, now you can put them uh, on the top and the bottom, so you can have it kind of surrounding um, an object that you'd like. Finally, uh, and probably my most favourite is this kind of old fashioned uh, style but it can still be used in a modern uh, house. It's this very like uh, nice alpine kind of wood uh, feel to the kitchen and we've just got half slabs and whatever this is called andesite and I think I said that right but yeah it gives this really uh, subtle checkered uh, feel to it and Gives, it kind of looks like it's got depth because these have got shadows going along here. So it looks like one's a bit raised. Um, and I really like the way this is done. And we've got some uh, 
cupboards here. Obviously, you'd build out on that side. But uh, we've got some on this side as well. Oh, sorry, storage uh, facilities. And again, the uh, half slabs in a um, item frame give very good uh, impressions of handles, which obviously uh, makes them look a lot like cupboards. And if you think of a kitchen, there's going to be lots of cupboards and stuff. So adding them in, even if they don't work, uh, gives a lot of depth and a lot of detail and just makes the build overall look a lot better. Now for the sink we used a um, hopper, I forgot, it was. I forgot what it was called for a minute, and then we used the uh, tripwire hook for a uh, tap this time and I kind of like it, I hadn't used it before, but the way it goes up and points down into it is a lot like the uh, tap. And then I just put the uh, normal uh, thing that I used, the blue stained glass and obviously it represents that water is going to come out and I really think I'll use this design more, it's the first time I've used it. Again more uh, designs for cupboards and a hob and these are supposed to be like chopping boards where you cut up all your fruit and vegetable. Looks like some kind of storage up here as well where you put uh, like, like you know like a cabinet full of glasses or cups. And then again, same thing here, this is more, I was going for the impression of a wine rack and I think it turned out pretty well. And finally there's just a like a normal table for preparing the meals inside and some hanging down lights as well. So that was all seven of uh, my designed kitchens. Uh, you can obviously mix them up, you can make so many designs, especially um, with all the new blocks that have come out. But uh, yeah, these are just seven very different designs I thought I'd uh, come up with. And um, I hope you enjoyed. So if you did enjoy, please leave a thumbs up. And if you want me to make any uh, like top tens or like what I did with the uh, furniture, like 100 ways to build something or 10 ways to build something, let me know what you'd want to see. Different rooms, because obviously I did kitchen here, I might do living rooms. Um, but anything you'd like to see, comment it down and subscribe. But until next time, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.